live. Hi, Michael S., my first viewer for tonight. I hope we get some more in here. I'm doing better today. I took a break. Whenever I get uh, down, especially about this YouTube game and social media, I just take a step back. So I got a little bit of a breather. I'm still going to go hard on this movie talk game, though. Um, and it's about talking about more movies. I want to take – a lot of people say that I – talk a lot about others in the movie talk genre it's because i care about it so much i care about authenticity and reviews critique the community i care a lot i really do and i really think that it's in a bad spot right now and to me i'll show the i'll show the uh thumbnail again i created Thanks, thanks, Michael S. You're always there. I really appreciate your true friend. I'm not in this just for subs. I'm in this for community, uh, friends. You're my friends. You're not my subs. You're not my fans. I never called people my fans. You're my equals in this game. That's why I like to try to include you as much as possible. The other thing is, I say I want to talk to everybody, and that's not a lie, but because of uh, what's been happening lately. I've been getting lots of lots of people that say I want to be on the show. And I kind of want to do my daily show uh, like this right now, just with me or like one guest. Uh, and the other thing is I am getting trolled to hell. I'm getting trolled everywhere on YouTube, Twitter, with, with people trying to mess with me. So I think I'm going to have to say, if you want to be on the show, at least put a video clip on your channel, even if it's just audio of you talking like a minute, to try to get a, a gist of how you're going to be on the show. Because I don't want any surprises. I don't want, all, I don't want any surprises live. I, I want to talk to as many people as I can, except Lethal. Uh, are we friends, Max? I, I'm not sure. I, I think so. I think you could also be one of the trolls trolling me on Twitter. I'm not entirely sure, Lethal. <laughs> uh, so I'll get to the chat here. What's going on? I'm, I'm feeling good. I got something else I'm trying to work on. I miss Darth Daddy's uh, 500 sub and 10K uh, watch time hours stream earlier. It was a good stream. I go, you... <laughs> I'm not I'm not telling you in case I don't know. I it, it might not be you. I, I don't want to accuse you, but it's possible. It's very possible. <laughs> Brian Hill, you're always here too. Appreciate it. Uh mod squad. Let me get the mod squad. I don't know. Brian Hill deserves to be part of the mod squad. Oh, someone said. Okay. Someone said that they were bought <laughs> banned by my mod. And I don't know why. So if I if I make you part of the mod squad, please be please be nice. And I think it's fun to make everyone a mod except Angus and Lethal. No Lethal. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Travis, you mad? Me. Yeah, I think you. I think you should be part of the mod squad too, Trav. I don't know if I made you one yet. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna have I just eventually want to have my chat all the mod squad except Angus and Lethal. Uh I I also do it because of community aspect. I think it's fun, but uh it's also a huge it's a huge troll to uh Angus and Lethal. Oh Ob Obi-Wan vlog, okay. You want to be a mod too? You gotta let me know. Man, I can't make everyone a mod just at the beginning of the stream. Uh, but my the main part of this stream is going to be the reaction to the John Campia having Mark Fernandez on today and how they still don't get it. Uh, admit that uh, Fury Road was an amazing film, and then I'll mod you, Lethal. <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, mod City. Yeah, Mod Squad. Trav, we're the mod. You're the mod squad, <laughs> Mr. Pixel. Uh, I'll, I'm I'm thinking about you too. I'll see. 
Oh, see, here's a uh, no clue number two. Yeah, uh, please be. If I make you part of the mod squad, only do when it's necessary. Or Jeremy, <laughs> I understand the temptation to block Jeremy. I understand it's funny. I've never got such a fast response to Jeremy ever. As soon as as soon as it happens, like he, I got his private DM, and I'm I'm not revealing too much. Uh, he said, "What the hell? This is unbelievable! You blocking me, bro?" <laughs> right away. <laughs> so I understand why it's funny. All right, uh, I, I think. Uh, all right, be good, Obi One Vlog. I'll make you. I'll make you part of the mod squad. Am I the one with the most mods now? That's another goal of mine. The most mods. Okay, and, and uh, where is it? Hold on a second. I still have some. I'm still making my uh, other room. You'll never sell out, or you'll never be a mod. No, I'll, I'll think about it, Letha. I'll think about it. But I, I, I still... <laughs> yes, Mad Max Mod Squad. <laughs> okay, let me see what Mr. Pixel says. Mr. Fernandez trying to convince the fans that it's to totally possible to resurrect the Titanic. They just sank into the Black Sea. <laughs> uh, listen. I, I kind of agree with your comment, but uh, I think I, I, John is just such a freaking egomaniac. He drives me crazy. Yes, he created movie talk, but he also sold it, and he's delusional. He's absolutely delusional to think, like he said, oh, there's so many viewers on YouTube. There's an environment for everyone. The competition uh argument isn't valid i'm like what the hell is wrong with you yes there's lots of people that watch youtube but the movie talk genre uh there's limited viewers there that do the exact same thing and you're just splitting the audience every time and also the thing that was a big disappointment and why i've gone gray order uh in partnering with uh, Darth Daddy on the Great Council and Josh of Den and Nerds, which I'm hoping we do more, and I'm going to talk about that later in the stream, is they are trying something different. Campia, when he was discussing it with Fernandez, he said two years ago uh, things started going down. What else happened two years ago? You can't minimize what John did to the movie talk audience. Yes, he's the poster child for it. He create now there probably was movie talk. Uh actually just to, just to show you how how old school uh I am. Hey sir nerd a lot. Thanks for coming here. Just to show you how old school I am about movie talk. Does anyone here remember the totally rad show? That used to be my show. And uh, I think they did it before John. I think, if I can remember. So they brought it before John. So he wasn't actually the creator. He just owned the Movie Talk name. And then when things got tough, he sold it. And then he competed with his former friends. And he's the first to criticize. I might also bring a tw tweet up. But they totally glossed over the other part that's been damaging movie talk right now. And it's still going to be talked about The Last Jedi Impact. People were ready to have real discussions. And on both Collider and Campia, they dismissed it. At that time, uh, they're more likely to talk about it now. But at that time, yes, it was bad. They, they totally dismissed criticism. They brushed off the access media shill argument and treated it and played dumb about it. Hey, Firewater. Hey, uh, Stories by Irish. Hey, Firewater. I love your voice, man. You're very – I, I want to stream with you soon. I'm sorry I missed the show earlier. I just had a rough day on the internet yesterday, so I wanted to take a break. And my streams are only like 30 – 45 minutes long, so I'm not going to go too long here, 
But I, I was very disappointed because I don't think they get it still. The true way forward is to have both sides in on the discussion. And that's what I've been trying to do for so long here. That's why I've lost a lot of friends. They don't want to talk about both sides of the issue. I've lost so many friends in this YouTube game. And that's the only thing I've been trying to do for a year is get both sides to talk to each other. I think Josh in the Great Order, uh, also with my man Snowdub and Angus in Second Street, we're the ones pioneering this thing. We're talking to everyone. Does it always work? No, there's always there's always last week. I'm not going to even mention the name because I don't want to bring up stuff. No, it does not always work, but it's worth trying for, and that's the true path forward. Because what you're seeing now is it's very telling that Geeks and Gamers and John Campia are about are in the same zone now, 200K to 220. It's exactly what the movie talk fandom is, okay? If you really want to grow your audience, you're going to have to have the top. You're going to have to have the hard discussions, which I'm I'm still trying, Josh. I think he's more apt to it now after our first Grey Council stream this last weekend. I want to do that again. I want it so bad. We're going to have to stay on Josh and say we need another one. We need another one. Something else uh, I want to do on this channel because uh, I'm still going to do the War Council. And I'm going to have my friends uh, take uh, turns hosting on their channel. Like, my idea is I'll do one week and then someone will do the next week. And then I'll do the next weeks after the week after and then someone different will do another one. That way it's a little more consistent and we can keep it going. So I'll probably do two Sundays a month and then maybe snow dub. But this weekend, I think we're going to try for second street because he just got monetized. He just got one K subs and it'll, it hopefully will give a, a boost to his channel. Uh, the other thing that I want to work with on longa on, which he said he kind of had a similar idea himself before I mentioned it uh, was the way the movie, the other problem with movie talk besides uh, ignoring what actually happened besides Campio leaving. Campio left and then The Last Jedi at the same time two years ago. And being dismissive of actual arguments and actual conversations uh, saying, uh, F Last Jedi, I don't want to talk about it anymore. No! That's the opportunity, bro! I heard that so much on these Axis media channels. I don't want to hear it. Oh, the fans are, uh No, that's what that that's the opportunity. People want to talk about it. You should talk about it more. But the way the industry is going with movies are being less and less relevant. I mean, besides Disney. I mean, there's the, there's bright spots here and there. But I'm, I'm telling you, you know, the movie theaters are a Disney show. Uh, you, you don't need to go to Disney World. Well, it'd be nice to go to Disney. My wife actually wants to go to Disney World again, uh, which I'm a little bit hesitant on especially Galaxy's Edge. But the the movie theaters are owned by Disney and their amusement park rides there. What is popping? What's popping right now? Where's the place to be? If you're not Disney, it is streaming. So I, as much as John says, he created, oh, Geeky Candy, the Phantom Menace, ladies. Hey, Geeky Candy. I, I got to have you on again. I, I like that stream. Uh, hey, I don't know if, Darth Lunga would be open, but we are having Odin on Sunday on his channel. Maybe if you if you want to, or maybe you just want to see this madman go against Odin in, in Lunga on Sunday, but uh, might have a spot for you on Sunday if you're interested. No pressure. <laughs> so I want to do a Grey Order um, stream club, binge club. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call it, and I want to do it Fridays because I kind of I kind of work with Lunga on Sundays, and then with the War Council, that's my other show on Sunday. I try to do right after. So uh, what I'm trying to do is work with Lunga on Sundays with his show, even if I'm not on, to help mod, 
and then have the War Council either on my channel or someone else's, and then to a, a weekly stream club on Friday nights or Saturday talking about what's happening, streaming, hidden gems. And everyone in this comment section bring a little uh, flavor to the show and give recommendations because uh, it's going more and more towards streaming. I've been going, and I was. A, I'm a movie guy. I love to go to the theater, but it's it's uh, not so much anymore. So here's uh, I, I was just working on this. This is real preliminary binge club. <laughs> I I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it. I just know I want to do a Friday night show. I want to give it a shot this Friday night. Uh, talk about what we're watching. Get some recommendations uh, and try to start watching this great content that's available in our homes. I mean, and, and this is the other reason why Movie Talk has plateaued. It really is. Here's my great thumbnail. <laughs> great thumbnail for, uh, oh, here. Oh, Firewater, you like that? Yeah, I would like to have you involved too. You and the Great Council, Friday night's Great Order Binge Club. Or stream club. I, I, I'm open to name suggestions for a better one. Uh, but I think they still don't get it. Because what has what has Campia and Harloff become now? They've basically become the the tip Campia and, and Harloff shows. And I think they're missing it. What they what they've created. It's great to get community and fan involvement. I'm not saying you can't do you can't do super chats, but this is the majority of what's happening on their channels, on both Harloff and Campia. And I I do see why Mark Fernandez didn't want to get into that game. Uh, the more the more focus on super chats and fan stuff, it's good for community. It's definitely good. But if you're also looking for sponsorships, uh, yes, Harloff brought back some viewers with Collider Live. But it also put them at risk for uh, promotions and sponsorships. And Disney itself. The the uh, not getting to uh, Galaxy's Edge was definitely a revealing moment. And I think it 100% was on purpose. Definitely. All right. Let me see the chat. Uh, yeah, uh, let us know. I, Lunga, would you be open to Geeky uh, coming on with me and Odin? I mean, it's it's if she wants to. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I've Oh, I, I also, Lunga's thumbnail for, for Sunday is awesome. I love it. And give give him some uh, love. He just he had a great stream earlier. Let me see. Rosetta is here. Yes. Uh, to be fair, though, and <laughs> hey, Rosetta, thanks for coming into the chat. <laughs> oh, you did invite her. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, get to get back to Rosetta and let me get uh, this off of here. Hold on a second. All right, uh, they are being tone deaf. They aren't getting it. Um, yeah, I think they're missing a big part of the problem. The big part of the problem is movie talk is still divided. I don't think there's an unlimited audience for movie talk, but I think the way to get people back is to get them together and talk like what we're doing in the Great Order. Now, I will give Jeremy credit where credit's due. I think he's doing it a lot better than Campia. And I think not saying Jeremy's name is very revealing, too. He likes to give little jabs, but he's afraid to say his name or doesn't want to doesn't want to even acknowledge him because he's an egomaniac, too. And I think you, you can see they both are. They both are. So but I think Jeremy is more willing to talk with the opposing side than Campy is. And Campia is, 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 along with Collider, they're losing a big missed opportunity. I do think that uh, as harsh as it was, like I said on previous videos, Mark was right 
to cancel these shows. Because every time, and just like the future, even if it's not the next Kristen Harlock, let's say Roxy Stryer. I'm a big Roxy fan. Live at the Roxy. Her channel's blowing up right now. Her channel's blowing up. As soon as she gets big, she'll go off, do her own thing, and the fans will go with her. So every time, you can't, you can't keep dumping money into these shows which are mainly driven on personalities. When the personalities get to a certain point, they move on and start their own. And that makes sense for them to do it, but they have to do something different. Now, it would have been a bloodbath. It Maybe you think it is a bloodbath already, but if they would have done two weeks of canceling shows, it would have sunk the channel worse. They would have lost more stuff. And what was so disappointing with the Campia stream with her... her Fernandez today is it was mainly mainly Campia it's just like I told you this stuff was going to happen I told and he didn't give any indication that he had anything to do with it except that the market can support this type of content the market cannot support this type of content it can only grow so far and that is something I'm telling as a as a, a true movie talk fan a true critic in this community I'm telling that to both Josh and Jeremy, because I think Josh and Jeremy listen to me more than Campia. If you want to grow now, you know, even if your fandom men is ride or die, if you're hardcore, you need to tell Jeremy when I said diversity of thought. Yes, he has diversity on his team. Uh, when you get opposing opinions more in those hard conversations, that is where you're going to grow the audience now because they both. I call it the sub wall. Everyone already knows who you are in this communities. If you want to gain more, you're going to have to switch it up. I do think uh, Jeremy is starting to do that, along with our friend uh, Geeky Candy here. Okay. Let's see. Firewater. Interesting that Collider is falling apart. I Well, well what the thing is, Firewater, is they keep... I, I fall. I'm still subscribed. I'm subscribed to everybody, so I know the details. When he left, when Campia left, it was right when the backlash from the right, the last Jedi hit. The growth of the Jeremy type channels, um, in a lot of it, that fervor, that anger towards access and shills, was created for from John, because he dismissed it. He's like, no one gave it. No one gives critics a paycheck. He dismisses the access. Access is such an important role, and to downplay it so much is sickening because basically you get 10 videos out of get that sweet access to exclusives. And the, the Disney premieres are more like an amusement park uh, ride than ever. And then the before it was just, in the past, it was just uh, review embargoes. Now, it's social media reactions, social media reaction embargoes, review embargoes, spoiler review embargoes. It's and then the uh, the videos you get for being at the premieres with like the Millennium Falcon and the it it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So he downplayed that, and he's still not going to name the opposition or collab with them. All he wants to do is keep his tip cup open 24 hours. Movie, movie info is dry, drying up. There's less movie news now than ever. There really is. The other, one of my favorite Star Wars shows is The Role of Two. The last show they produced was one of the best ever. I think if you haven't checked that out, go check Mark Fernandez's rant on the rise of Skywalker. I really think that's what I would go. But uh, there's very little to talk about. What are you going to – They the, part of the problem was just for Rule of Two in Jedi Council uh, talking about the Clone Wars, uh, there's not much to talk about right now until things st start up again. That's why I did a video on Avatar 2. I think that's one of the next 
I get a lot of hate for like an avatar. And I, I am planning to do a video movies that people love to hate that they, that they paid for. Because they everyone was all about Avatar when it came out, but that they just do that just like the prequels. All right, let me see uh the chat now. Okay, Geeky Candy. Yep, she's agreeing with thanks, Geeky Candy. Thanks, Candace. <laughs> they still didn't address that in the conversation today with Fernandez and John. Uh basically it was John stroking his ego the whole time saying, I told you I was right. I told you not to do this, even though I split your audience twice. Collider did as much to split the audience as Campion did, but he was the majority. I was there. I was on watching his streams when he said the cousin humping and and then someone someone super chatted him or something about uh, the access media and getting paid for reviews. And he did a freak out on that too. Instead of addressing it, like a level-headed individual and saying, well, you could kind of say this is, no, he totally dismissed it, played dumb, and that's how we got to this point. So is there room for growth in movie talk? Yes. Uh, the Josh of Den of Nerds in the gray order way is the way. There is growth. You have to, you can't, and it's a, it's a minefield to walk through this fandom to criticize both sides and not not go too far one way or the other because you know what people also with the with social media right now you say one thing that's an actual legit opinion people unsub unfollow they don't want to hear it so the safe way is to go the john campia way in that respect but uh you also have to be willing to talk to the other side and he still won't acknowledge the other side he won't say Jeremy's name, except when he got a super chat. Jeremy sent him a super chat. I was also watching that. And he's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> that is not the way forward. Uh, if you want in, in camp, if he wants to have a daring interview, uh, I say bring on Jeremy. I say say his name and bring on Jeremy. I would want to see that. I know Josh from the Den of Nerds in the Gray Order. We're willing to talk to Jeremy. But you won't say his name. And you, John Campia, you heard it here first. John Campia created Jeremy. He created the Fandom Menace because he's the post. He always says, I created movie talk. I created movie talk. Okay. Well, you created the opposition too. And then you killed movie talk. You killed it with constantly competing the time slots, pulling talent, and doing the exact same damn thing, except now. It's become the Tip Campia and Harloff shows. A hundred percent. Go look at their channels right now. I, I, I can't even watch uh, Schmo's Entertainment L Network live anymore with that interrupting. Uh, it's I call it the schlong bot because all it does is it interrupts the flow of conversation. And that to me is uh, it's a little bit gar it's garbage to me. That's not the way forward for actual conversations. It's just uh it's just a tipping show. And uh, you know, true humor, fart jokes have their place, but when that's the whole show, just so you could get those sweet, sweet super chats. Uh and you, I get a lot of criticism because I talk about other people getting them. But if that's all it's about, that's all you are. Is it about movies then? Is it about fandom or is it about a, a, a schlong bot? Interrupting, saying "slong" in a robotic voice. I mean, Miss, I'm, I don't know. Does anyone here like that? I don't like it. I think it's lame, and I think it kills movie talk. And I think they killed it themselves. I don't think Mark Fernandez did it. I think Campia and Harloff did it. And don't. Oh, the other thing is, uh, I'll bring this up here again. Okay, I'll show you this. Um, because this is important. This is the other, I do look, many reasons I do thumbnails and I include things. Okay, this is the day, like the week this picture was taken was the week after or, or during, the week during Christian leaving Collider, okay? These two 
collabing at uh, an AMC. Oh, we naturally decided to uh, to make a new Star Wars show, Light Side, Dark Side. We didn't think of this ahead of you leaving, Collider, Christian. Uh, do you smell bullshit on that? I smell absolute bullshit. And just like he's, I'm not saying he wasn't Snep's friend. But when, unfortunately, when John Snep passed away, when he passed away, that same month, he announces a Heroes-like show with Robert Meyer Burnett. So him stroking his ego on his show today and not admitting his part while still not acknowledging the divisive fandom or uh, the Jeremy or the, or the movement that he helped create is not the way forward, and you just have a goddamn tip show. You don't have movie talk. So that's what I mean when I say I'm bringing movie talk back. And I think there, there's there's still room for movie talk until movies die all together. And I hope that never happens. Uh, I I know we'll always have the amusement park ride, the Disney amusement park rides. But I think there is a great conversation into streaming. And that's why Fridays I'm devoting my – I really want to get this show going. Um, Stream Club. And I, I'll give uh, – I'll give a little shout out to Lethal. He created the uh, the EU Book Club, so that's what I want to do for streaming. Does it have to be the most recent stuff? No. There's hidden gems there. There's lots of content, and we can we can talk on it together. Okay, let me get back to the chat here. Uh, I'd like to talk with with you about this longer. It's a great discussion. Uh, hold on a second. Cousin Angel of Yonkers is here. <laughs> All right. Let me get to uh, Longa's comment. I don't think it's a problem. Campius Campia, his brand isn't about conversation. Hmm. When he originally did movie talk, there was more conversations than, uh, than there are now. Mo now it's just the Campia show. It's aptly named. Uh, it's not. It's uh, the Tip Campia show and the e the Ego Campia show. Uh, here, I will show share something with you that really pissed me off from Campia. It's one of his tweets. I'll share it with you right now. All right. Here we go. All right, here, I'll read it to you in case you can't see it. So, since you seem to be throwing it up in a closet to collect dust, and since I came up with it, sold it, you sold it, Campia. You sold it when things got tough. Mark Fernandez ponied up the money, went into his pockets, and tried to make it work. And the audience is only so big until, until you get both sides of the conversation in. I think there is room for growth there. But not just one side. Once, what if the fandom menace and uh, Collider or John Campia's audience started talking to each other instead of just yelling at each other? That's that's always what I've been about. That's what always what I've been trying for. That is the true room for growth. And yes, there are a lot of people watching YouTube, but uh, the movie industry isn't growing. Maybe the movies are getting bigger. Maybe every Disney production gets a bigger budget. Uh, more hype. But there's not more movies coming. What is growing is streaming. And that's why I'm going to do a streaming show. And I hope it, I, Longa likes the idea. I don't know if he wants to do something similar on his channel or if he just wants to collab with me. Uh, I would love to work on something like that. And I'm going to try it this Friday, see what happens. And I need your help. So that made me angry. Uh, he's just stroking his ego, ego here, saying, see, I told you, when he doesn't take any ownership of his contributions to the downfall, downfall of the thing he created. Uh, go Now capitalism, he's going up. He has the right to do this. But you can't deny what happened. You know, everyone out, I think everyone knows that him leaving 
took a chunk of the audience. And then Kristen brought it back up. And then him leaving did the exact same thing. And then the next thing would be uh, Roxy, which I, I think she has a bright future in this, this uh, genre. When she gets big enough, she will leave and she'll do her own thing. So it's not sustainable. Maybe they should do, a, a, maybe Collider needs to do a streaming show again or bring back uh, TV talk, actually. <laughs> so that's my thoughts here. I'm going to check out the chat. Let me get this out of here. This wasn't going to be a long stream. And I, yeah, I want to talk to Lunga about this on a stream. Maybe we'll talk about this too on Sunday when we have Odin. That might be interesting. I don't know. You have your own plan, so I don't want to interfere with what you're going to talk about. Talking John Carpenter. Okay. Hey, Biden touch. Hey, Tommy. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Darn it. Okay, good point, Geeky Candy. So I might do Fridays or Saturdays. I don't know if Saturday is going to be any better. But thanks for the feedback. Um, that's an interesting. I'm not sure. I will try Friday night. Maybe. Maybe I'll wait till Saturday. Uh, let me know in the comments section. Do you want this to be Friday night or Saturday? And do you see that it's more likely to succeed on Friday or Saturday night? Because I know Sundays, I know what I'm doing Sundays. Sundays to me are dedicated to um, the Grey Order type content on Longest Channel and the War Council. Okay, but I think you might watch it off streaming though. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, I don't disagree with you there. <laughs> All right. You never watch me. I've been watching movie talk for years. The CJH. Hey, CJH. Saturday night be a better option. Okay. Maybe we can have geeky candy on if it's Saturday. Okay. Everyone's saying Saturday night. Uh, what time? Not sure. I like to do a little bit later, maybe nine Eastern time. I, I would like to have you on Firewater. Maybe. Maybe we could try for Saturday night instead of tomorrow, uh, 9 Eastern time for the first stream talk. Maybe that way I could prepare a little bit better, too. Everyone's saying Saturday. Okay, Saturday, Saturday. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Good point, Snow Dub. We have to have it before the Ribbit and Bigot show. That way, if anyone wants to jump on, we'll say, hey, uh, the Ribbit and Bigot show is live. We'll do it right before. So that's my that's the other thing I like to do. I like to do something right before one of my friends is having a stream so I could say, hey, they're live now. Okay. Stay mad. I, yeah, I can get mad when I need to. I'm a little more. Oh, I forgot. Before I end the stream. Okay, he'll do the best he can. We'll t uh, DM me on Twitter. I think I follow you. Uh, that I respond to most. I respond to most everything. Firewater. So if you ever want to stream, uh, I am Gray Order. I totally. I'm totally on board for Gray Order, and I like the way you talk. So um, if you ever want to be on any of my shows, just DM me. Uh yeah, you're late. You're late, Matt. You're late. <laughs> uh, I I would love to have Matt included too. We're. T I'm talking about doing uh. A streaming series like movie talk, but for call it uh, binge talk or, or stream talk, and I, I think majority of people want to do it Saturday night. If you also would like to be involved, Matt, uh, let me know. DM me. And I forgot. I got a. I found when I was. I'm getting ready in my uh, room, and I found a, more mystery minis. So I'm going to open these two before we go for tonight. Let's see what I got. I'm getting my room ready so I can, although my dogs are down here. Look at my dog. You see her? Oh, Matt's, Matt Jarbo's face was in the way. 
Here, Ke here, Kelly. You want to see what it is? Here, Kelly. She wants the mystery mini. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got. Oh, I forget his name from Infinity War. He's okay. It's not my... I, I wouldn't have picked him. And this is also... No, this is not Hot Topic exclusive. One out of six. Very common. I forget his name. I forget his name. All right, and I have one more before I end the show. And I think we're getting a lot of people interested in this uh, binge talk. Or stream talk. I need a better name. I need a better name. Let's see what the last mystery mini is before I end the stream tonight. Ooh. His head is backwards. Spider Man from Infinity War. Let me see how rare he is. Whoa, I got a rare one. He's 1 in 36. I got a rare one on camera. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Today was a good day. Do you see this? Let me see. Okay, the only other... There's two 1 out of 36s and one 1 out of 72. So I don't know if you could see it. Ah, you can't see it. Whatever. You're going to have to trust me. We got a rare one, guys. Oh, see, I don't collect Funkos anymore. But I might get, like, just a couple of mystery mini boxes every once in a while. What do you think? Is that... They're, they're small enough. I can have some fun just getting the mystery minis. Oh, he's going on my desk upstairs. Nice and glossy. I'll see you guys later. later. Yeah, Black Order. Uh, Second Street, let me know if you want to try to do this stream club. And, you, you know, some of the shows, I, I want to watch some CW shows. Uh, Longa says he watches CW. I'm going to go back and watch Batwoman. Hell yeah, I am. I'll see you later. Bye.